What's going on boys, no guys here, welcome back to the video and in today's video I wanted to go over my top 5 formations. Now, these are not going to be defensive formations, these are going to be my top 5 attacking formations. Formations that I love to use, so they might not be the most, they're going to be good formations, but they might not be the most meta formations. So you're not going to be seeing no 40 through 1 um, a defensive tactic. So, um, let's go over them. So, some of these you might have not seen tactics videos for that, I mean I'm just trying them out in the background. Um, when I do think they're worth making, or I've tested it out, I would then release one. Um, now the first one I want to talk about is the 4 2 Now similar to the 4 4 2, I actually really like this formation. It's one, it's like a kind of a, a very aggressive formation. Uh, the only thing that really puts me down with 4 4 2s and 4 2 is you're going to have to concentrate, or at least the way that I play. Um, just because you have that lack of that camp, it's all about L1 triggers, bringing one of the centre mids going forward. If you like playing a two striker formation, if you like playing high press, having for example one of the centre mids join the tech in the 4 4 2. Is one of the most fun ways to play FIFA, honestly. It's so, so good. In fact, for those who don't watch my, I keep up my meta series, my meta tactic series every week, I update my tactics, and then I show you what my setup is. I actually have my 442, my ultra attacking slot, and I actually use that for most of the game, surprisingly. So, even though it says ultra defensive, ignore it, 442, um, try it out. Um, the only weak point I said it doesn't have a cam, but a very, very good formation, and you have two CDMs, unlike the 442 flat. You have two CDMs. And don't forget the biggest misconception is people think here these are actual cams. They're not. Yes, in the formation they're cams, but they actually play as wingers. Um, so think of them as like wide left mids and right mids, but just a bit more inwards. That's the best way I can describe it. So it's a bit more narrow. So it's a really, really good formation. So you'll be playing wingers in these roles. You don't want to be playing any KDB slow players. You'll be playing fast, quick players like Gelson and like Mora. Um, so I got, I got both two strikers on stay central, stay forward. Both um, camps will come back in defence and both CDMs on cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, cover centre. Left back and right back on step back while attacking. Very, very staple tactics. And what I would say, just put a bit on balanced. Um, I don't even touch any of this. Um, now these are my, um, generally speaking, these are my 4 2 one tactics. So I'm just going to tell you, literally, just put it on balance. You can increase the width a little bit, 55. Honestly, try this formation out. Four triple two is a really, really good formation. It's a fun formation to play. And I sometimes use it from having fun, just playing in my own time or playing co with my friends. I actually really enjoy the four triple two. Um, then we're going to go over to the formation I love the most, personally speaking. That is um, the three five two. Look, as I say, the perfect formation has to encompass everything, right? So the way I look at it is a four two three one is like a four is like a four two three one. Obviously, without the, without the centre back or extra backline play with extra strikers. So it's kind of like a 4-2-3-1 with an extra striker. It's like a 4-4-2. It's like a 4 4 it's like a 4-4-2 like with an extra cam. And it's like a 4-1-2-1-2 with a left mid and right mid. This is why I just love this formation. You know, if there's one formation that can break anyone down, this is the formation. If you can't break anyone down with this formation, then you're in trouble because this is the best one. Unlike the 3-1-4-2 where you don't have two CDMs, you have two centre mids. I like the CDMs, the stability. So people say to me, oh yeah, why don't you go ahead and play any of the other variations like the 3 4 one 2 Well, the problem is these guys are not CDMs. They're one of the most important things with CDMs, as I'm sure many of you guys know, is that cut passing lane instruction. You can't do that with a 3-5, with like a 3 4 one 2 or anything like that. So 3-5-2. The most favorite formation. If this if this didn't have CDMs, I'd probably say no. And um, but just the fact you have two CDMs, you have a left mid, right mid, camp, and two strikers. Every option to play, it's so so good. The most fun formation for me. If I want to just go into a game and just want to attack, this is definitely the formation I've gone with. It's the exact same tactics on my videos, so um, feel free to use those. I've just got generic tactics here um so i just modified it um just for now um but check out my 352 on the video on that it's probably the best formation i would say for all around there's there isn't any really cons part of the fact that you have a back to and obviously there's going to be a, some negative effect now when you defend don't forget you defend like in a five um a five or well, if it's one of your center mids uh striking about center mid it's like a five three one one um, so it's a very good formation defensively. The only weakness to this is counter-attack. So if you're one, you're sitting there saying, hey, no, look, I get done by counter-attacks every single time, then I'll say 3-5-2 is not the formation for you. If you are going to use it, I will say to everyone, just use it, but just be careful when you lose the ball, just run back with your CDMs. Don't forget, we're cut passing lanes. They're in good positions. That's why I prefer the 3-5-2 over the 3-4-1-2 because these center mids, when you lose the ball, they're always high up. The CDMs, they sit a bit deeper. And they're much better. Um, and then that's why I prefer all of those. Now, I'm um, going over to a formation I released um, not so long ago, the 4-3-2-1. 
This is more like a fun formation. I think this is more of a co-op formation. When I'm playing co-op, I actually like to use this formation as well. Uh, because, of course, you have three centre mids. You know, if you're playing with a friend, you don't, it's not like you have two CDMs. You kind of have one of you guys can control one. The centre mids, you have AI controlling one as a backup. So, four, it's kind of like a 4-3-3 three, three in system. Um, so it's basically a really good formation for co-op because you can control the right amount of players. I really like it to be honest. I put of course all my strikers on stay forward, stay central. Um, and don't forget I won the CDMs on well center mids to drop between defenders. So it ends up becoming a back three. These guys go forward. So it's, if you think about it, it's basically like a 3-4-3. Three, three, kind of. Um, not really, but it is basically like a 3-4-3. Three, three. Um, I really enjoy it. I do it with of course a left back and right back join the attack. It's a really good formation. Again, the counter attack is going to be one thing, but all you got to do is put these guys on stay back while attacking. You leave one of your center mids on stay back while attacking and leave both your center mids on the other side on balanced. And it becomes quite a good, well balanced formation. So you kind of have a bit of everything. I like having three players up front. Um, sometimes you don't want the two strikers in the camp. Sometimes you actually want a three versus three. So if your opponent is playing a three, five, two, this is normally a good formation to use against them because if you put three of the players on the stay forward, as soon as you get the ball, you do a one-two back to your to your centre mid, one of your centre mids, then you immediately have a situation where he has three centre backs, you have three attackers and one of the centre mids joining the attack. So you create that numerical advantage. Um, I've been falling a bit out of love with this formation on terms of solo perspective, so in corp is really fun. But as an individual, I don't really enjoy it too much because I don't use the left mids and right mids too much. So I don't really see a use of bringing these guys forward. And that's why I still fall back to the 3-5-2. And that's why I still go back to it. So that's what I wanted to mention in terms of that. Um, two more to go. One of them is the 5-2-1-2. Um, it's funny because when I'm the 5-2-1-2 and 5-3-2 variation, people 19, everyone thought that the game, that the formation was meta in, was it 20 when Dull and Mike used it? This formation was meta in, in 19. Remember when you can do... Um, the, um, people were using the the crossing meta, even though I didn't use the crossing meta. I use this 5-2-1-2. In fact, I got a video on my second channel back in 2019 using the 5-3-2 and the 5-2-1-2. I'm explaining how these guys are marked. When these guys go forward, they're unmarked. It's perfect. I think this formation was very good last year as well, um, given the fact that... because. Crossing was not very much methods. People used to play very, very centrally, overload the ball side. So going down the wing was actually quite effective um, because if you don't forget when you're left back and right back when they go forward, they're in their own lane. Um, there's two variations of it. Of course, you can have the 5-3-2 or you can have the 5-2-1-2. 5-2-1-2, I prefer a bit more. Now, as again, there's no CDMs in this formation. So I would, if this, if this formation had two CDMs, it would be the formation I'd use the entire game every single time, all the time. Um, but because it doesn't, I end up using a 3-5-2 and use Hug the Sidelines to kind of emulate the exact same thing with a left mid and right mid. So that's why I say in my videos, use Hug the Sidelines. I'm trying to emulate a 5-2-1-2-1-2, sorry, a 5-2-1-2 with CDMs. But a really, really good formation. It's basically like, again, it's kind of like a 4-1-2-1-2, but you've got these left backs and right backs. They fly forward and they are basically and completely unmarked the entire game so it's a very 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 good system either one is fine um i prefer the 5-2-1-2 because it's much more attacking all you got to do basically is just have any tactics just do fast build up play forward runs and have the left back and right back on um join the attack overlap and you're pretty much laughing with this formation so it is a very very good formation if you're talking about one going forward i've had a lot of fun with it for the last couple of years i'll be releasing this one soon i'm still working some things out because we know right now that ai defense is very very op so you got to be careful with no cdms that's one thing i want to say so just be careful with all this formation i'm not gonna lie sit and say to you they're very very good defensively because they're not they're quite attacking so do bear that in mind um just the last one i want to go over so we do have the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation i got this one coming out tomorrow um i would say for um, a more of a wide option, a cut and sell option. Stay tuned for that video tomorrow, in fact. Um, but um, I prefer the second variation. It's, it's like the 3 5 2 without the wing plays. And that is pretty much it. Now, the rest of the formations, they're not that bad. You know, 4 5 1 is a really good formation for wing play. I don't cross the ball, but if you cross the ball, then you might have realized that formation. This conversion to close the game out, most of the formation in the game, good formation. Um, this one also, good formation to close the game out, but I prefer the 4 1 4 1 because you have a CDM. 4 4 1 1 is basically 4 2 3 1 without the, cent without the CDMs. Again, I don't really want this because then, of course, you can't have cut passing lanes. So I don't really veer towards any of these, really. Um, same with any of these. And the 4 3 3s are not a bad option, uh, but just personally, I don't play wide. I like to play very, very narrow, so I just prefer to use. The four, three, two, one. But that is probably my best, I suppose you can say, attacking formations. 
Um, same with 5 2 2 1. We've been always talking to me about it, but I don't see a point of this formation because when these guys go forward, these guys are next to them. So I'm like, well, I don't want a strike in the middle and like two guys there and two guys there. It doesn't really disperse the, the ball as much as I want to. So anyway, that is my top five formation. So give them all a go, you know, in, include. Uh, so of course, this is not, um, this is the 5 3 2. Include the four, um, the 4 1 2 on 2 into it. Um, and you got a really, really good setup. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, what I'm using right now for the most fun, I would say the 442 or 442 variation of the 4222 or the 352. That's the ones I really enjoy. But the 532 will very much be making his appearance back again very shortly. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy. And of course, I'll catch you next time. Peace out.